this is Greg with another tunnel take. Guest starring the country gentleman. No other than me, the country and gentleman. The gentleman. And Craig will understand the beginning of the video to why I introduce myself as Craig, Greg the tunnel take. Smoking my church warden, even though it's not nearly as big as Greg's. Seriously, Greg, I want to know where you get church wardens that big, because I would love to have a church warden as big as that. So I'm just smoking it out of my little cob. But anyway, guys, today I am smoking Awakened Elder by no other than C. Andy. And it is a blend made up of Latakia, Katsuri, I think that's how you pronounce it. Never heard of that tobacco before, so if anybody can tell me if it's like an oriental or what, be nice to know. Then it is made up with Virginia's, Burley, Perique, and Black Cavendish. Hmm, I better put my glasses on. The puppies are bothering me. Oh, puppies! Oh, puppies! Don't call them over here. I'm trying to make sure they get up under there and hurt themselves. Oh, okay. I'm trying to get behind the uh, chicken wire. But anyway, this blend reminds me a lot of Engine 99. When I smoked that a couple years ago, the Latakia is very that was a good forward point. in the blend, but it's not too overly powering, so it's not a lap bomb. Yeah, puppy, puppy. I get those burlies in there too. Get a little bit of the burlies in there. Mainly, I taste the Latakia and the burlies, and then a little bit of the burlies, and then a little bit. I'll get um, some of the spiciness out of that Perique. I get a whole lot out of the Virginias. I'm not sure if they're just in there to kind of sweeten it up. Rica, Rica. I'm not sure if the black Cavendish has any topping on it. This tastes like a pretty straightforward, just tobacco blend. Definitely a really good kind of smooth. It's very smooth, actually. It's almost creamy. Wait, really? Mm -hmm. I didn't get any creaminess out of that. Well, I mean like smooth like cream, not like mm. tasting cream, but it's just kind of smooth. I, I don't say, get that's more like a hearty stew absolutely any me. tongue bite out of it whatsoever. It's not too bitter, which is nice. It's pretty nice and smooth. But it's also got some pretty good flavor in there. I'd say it's a pretty good I mean, it's fairly like a hearty, bold tobacco. Like a hearty stew or something. Like yeah. That. You know, it'd be a tobacco blend that I would smoke on a cool day like this around a campfire and then say you had a big old bowl of soup or a hearty steak and potatoes. This would be the blend I would certainly smoke after eating something like that. It smells good though. <sighs> yeah, it does have a pretty nice room note. I mean, you women. The tobacco looks like. Oh, yeah. Well, it never shows up well, never but it's a pretty well. looking tobacco, and it kind of a, you're kind of ribbon cut. Not sure if that, I'm not sure if I'm in front of the lens, but let me see. Where's the lens? There it is. Probably got way up to the lens. Probably. Yeah, it'll pull a little back. There we go. Pull a little back. It's a nice looking tobacco. You can see the Virginias. Latakia, definitely that black Cavendish is in there. It smells really good. It does smell good. Now I wouldn't call it a wife pleaser, for sure. <laughs> hey, I don't call these. I wouldn't call these any woman pleaser. <laughs> well, it's just a really good kind of mellow smoke, but it's got enough body to it to where it's enjoyable. You're not just puffing air like some aromatics, so it's got a good boldness to it. Definitely one I would smoke if I was going camping. Mm -hmm. It's perfect for this kind of weather. It's cool. Yeah, that, I'd definitely classify it as a uh, kind of a winter blend. 
don't know if I would really smoke it in the summer, but I'll definitely smoke it in the winter. Just has a nice, there's a little bit of that barrique. Barrique. But yeah, I mainly just get the um, Latakia and the Burleys in there. And then that Perique will sneak up in there. Um, really nothing from the Black Cavendish. I'm sure it's just in there to kind of smooth in and out because I don't think... I mean, surely it's topped with something being C and D, but I don't taste any kind of topping on it. Very good. I would uh, recommend giving it a try if you like. Oh, like Engine 99 or Burley Blends, stuff like that. It's good. Or Latakia blends for sure. It's pretty forward with the Latakia, but it's not like a lap bomb where that's the only thing you're tasting. You kind of pinpoint some of the tobaccos in there. I mean, me personally, I don't get a whole lot of Virginias, but um, it's good. It's good. I'd recommend it. I don't know too much else to say about it other than I like it. I'll probably give it a yeah, 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's a good blend. It'd be one that I would get again, maybe stock up on a couple tins, but it wouldn't be one that I would smoke every day. I think it would be perfect for those cold nights. It would be a great time to smoke it. But, in cold, a way... Cold nights when you don't want the girl around? Well, I want the girl around on cold nights, so maybe I'll that. smoke an aromatic one. If she's mad at me or something, yeah, I'll just go outside and smoke that. But, now pan over to the clown. What are you smoking? Alec, Alec Bradley Post Embargo. Hmm. Blend Code 815. Quite a delicious cigar. I smelt it when you weren't in the room, and it smelled pretty good. It's good. It smells like it's a pretty nice, mellow... It's uh, probably like, uh, I mean, I'm still trying to learn cigars, but it's probably a medium body cigar, so it's not super harsh, but it's not super light either. Mm -hmm. it's good in the middle. But uh, definitely has a slight raisin, kind of hay. Has uh, it got some Virginias in there then, if you're getting some hay-like notes out of it? Possibly, yeah. Um, slight hint of chocolate, maybe. Hmm. Maybe that's um. Oh, I think they use Burleys quite a bit to kind of get a chocolatey note out of it. I'm not entirely sure what kind of tobacco's in there. And kind of nutty. What kind of nut? Hmm. Um. Well, like a walnut. Cashew, or maybe. Cashews. Okay. Maybe, maybe cashew. Well, sounds pretty good. So, is it kind of a salty cigar? Or? I'd probably yeah, I'd say a little slightly kind of hmm. like a hay, raisiny, nutty, probably medium body, maybe a little slight, probably a little higher than medium. Hmm. I mean, it's, it's a fairly dark looking cigar, uh, but it's a good in the middle. Not too harsh, not too uh, not too mellow. Hmm. So, okay. It's pretty good. I recommend hmm. them. Man, you need to talk should, to some of the guys. Um, the band. Oh, yeah. Hillbilly will be able to point you to some pretty good cigars. Well, I know he uh, was telling me about Olivia V's, which, um, or Olivia so G's, got, I think. Is they got V, G, and O. Which I tried, I the, which I bought a V and tried, and it was really good. I think, I know John all briared up said, I think he said that really good G stuff. was his favorite. G. Out of O, G, and V. I think it had the V, but I would have to go and find the band. Hmm. Uh, but it was a good cigar. Okay. Uh, good light one. Well, it smells really good. It's not like a overly harsh cigar kind nah, of smell. It's, it's like got said, a nice, like a pleasant nice smell to it. Probably mid middle of the road kind of cigar. Not too harsh, not too soft. Yeah, or that's probably like. about what I like on cigars. I don't like them when they're too harsh. I like them a little more mellow yeah. I'm definitely going to add these to the collection hmm. and, uh, when I can afford one I'm going to get a box nice I just don't want to know what a box is going to cost 
Yeah, that's where you just looked them up. I know, and I've looked up cigar boxes. They're expensive. <laughs> but I bought this in a uh, pack on Cigars Daily. Oh, okay. So you need to try uh, international. I'm not sure what it costs. Or Cigars separately. International. Yeah. Also and then what was cigars. another one the guys were saying where you can get pretty good cheap cigars? Well, Bob told me Cigar Page. Mm -hmm. And he gets a ton of cigars like, there for great deals. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm going to definitely try out that, that website, too. Well, there's all kinds of good uh, sites for cigars. You can get tobacco cheap. Yeah, you get deals on them. I just wish I had the money at the time when Hillbilly was saying he was getting 75 cents for a couple ounces of, of tobacco. And That's insane. I think John said he was paying $2 for $15 cigar somewhere. All right, let me stop real quick. Okay. Sorry about John. I don't think we got to worry about the timing anymore. I think my phone's got enough storage. So you Are you sure? Cause it, I thought it would even cut off at 15 mm -hmm. minutes. Maybe it's just because I was I really wish like, cameras would stop that. That is, ah, Mosquito. That is the most, mosquito. I mean, I'm pretty sure all the guys or everyone on YouTube feels this. Why do cameras have time cut off? That is so irritating. Well, it's like on Instagram, me Why? and the guys will be on and then it just cuts off randomly. Like if, if the camera has enough memory, just keep recording. It's like the DJI microphones. Why I don't like using them. They're great microphones. Those, but those they're, little ones. Yeah, the little ones on. we're using. But editing with them is such a pain in the butt because it doesn't continuously record. So. We could have a whole video that's recorded, but then the audio is all chopped up. Mm -hmm. And I try and synchronize it with um, DaVinci's uh, um, auto sync. Well, does it use like some kind of AI or something? No. Uh, it, it together. It uses the embedded video audio with the audio on the microphone recording, mm -hmm. but sometimes it doesn't always work. Okay. So it just got so irritating that I was like, I can't use these on long videos. Yeah. You know, the sound quality is good. Yeah, they definitely help with sound Makes quality. Post it makes post-editing such a pain in the butt. <laughs> it's like continuously record if the memory is there. Or at least give someone the option to at least turn it off or something. Yeah. It makes no sense to me. One thing I will say about this blend, it burns pretty fast. Yeah. Being a ribbon cut. I love ribbon cuts, but they do tend to burn fast. Especially haunted bookshop. That burns really quick. <laughs> Don't set yourself on fire. I was literally about to just go and dump that. It just fell down my stinking sleeve. Didn't burn your shirt, did it? <laughs> no. I hope it all came out. God dang it. I can't, I can't imagine what the video is going to look like. Just me just... <laughs> oh, no, puppy. No, that's Ash. Well, at least they got to see you dance around like a clown, finally. Ah, oh, shut up. <laughs> I was really about to go and tap my cigar. Mm. And, no, it did it. It did it for itself. I don't know, man. I got to say, it feels pretty good uh, with the guys doing lives again on uh, Instagram or Google Meets or whatever. Yeah. Been very good talking to John, Hillbilly, Hart, Everett, um, some of the other guys. It's just been nice. Gives me something to do during the day. Yeah. That I just hate that Instagram's kind of fidgety because sometimes they'll come out black or I'll come out black. You know, the screen's just dark. and. Oh. Or it'll just cut out. It's finicky for some reason. I don't know if it's just because of all of our different internets and then Instagram's just finicky. Yeah, you can do a number of issues. Yeah. There's so many areas that can go wrong. That's why I'm just like not the biggest fan of things over the internet. Just, you yeah, never know. You never know when they're going to mess up or mm -hmm. whatever. This may or may not be my last video for a while because I will be gone for a month, leaving in a few days. We go spend Thanksgiving and Christmas with the girl. So I may try and do one more video before I leave. Hopefully I can. I got another uh, tobacco review that I can totally botch up. So 
Those are always fun. Country gentleman. His reviews are the worst on the <laughs> internet. What an idiot. What the hell is he talking about? He ain't the brightest tool in the shed. I mean the brightest bulb in the box or the sharpest knife in the drawer? Like I said, we're both not. <laughs> <laughs> He's just blunt and dumb as a hammer. <laughs> maybe as dumb as a hammer, but maybe not as blunt as a hammer. Hmm. I don't know when to be kind. Be kind. Be kind, do we whine? Oh, I don't know. I did kind of miss giving the guys some hell on on the chats, especially Hillbilly. Oh, Hillbilly needs it. It's his therapy. <laughs> Sorry, Hillbilly. He'll just say, oh, as he usually say, y'all aren't jealous. Uh, oh, y'all are haters. You're just being He's haters. Just being haters. <laughs> Why are you using that lighter? Those sucking when you got any kind of wind. Yes, the Zippo doesn't do much better. Yeah, it is a pipe lighter. And this is butane, so. Mm, gotcha. You don't want that Zippo flavor? Yeah, like I said, I need to get more fuel for my uh, jet lighter. Man, I'm excited to see what Uncle Willie sending me. I'll even though I won't be here to open it for basically a month, so. Oof, at least I'll have something. To Look forward to when I get back. I'm gonna put Ooh, my ladder's hiding under there. I need that there. It's keeping my zippo warm, I guess. Yeah, didn't those lighters light better when they're warm? Well, uh, yesterday on a live, Hart had his up next to a heater because it was so cold outside, keeping it warm. Oh, I was making a joke. I didn't know. <laughs> Well, I think he was trying to do an experiment to see if it'll actually work, but it would make sense. You kind of heat up the gas a little bit, it'll make it easier to flow and light. Yeah. Well, this stuff is good. At first, I wouldn't didn't care for it too much, but after giving it a couple of weeks to kind of sit down and mellow, it was good. I thought it was pretty good. You can try the cigar eventually. I think I like it more than NG99. I need to get NG99 and see if it actually does taste similar, but from Compare what I remember, it tastes pretty similar. Do a comparison video? Mm-hmm. Like with um, Poplar Wait, camp. what did you rate NG99? I don't remember. You don't remember. But uh, just kind of like Poplar Camp, I found, tastes a lot, or very similar to... Um, you need to make like a log book where you have all your grades. haunted bookshop, except I don't think it has burly in it. The haunted bookshop does, mm -hmm. but you need to get like a notebook. but it still has a peppery taste and that kind of uh, mushroom flavor to it. But I think it tastes better than haunted bookshop. And I know um, C and D's changed their Orientals. I've heard that they're doing their own farming on their Orientals. So haunted bookshop tastes a lot different than what it used to. Um, I think I liked it better before. You need to uh, get a book and write down the tobaccos and rate them. That would be a good idea. So maybe I can actually track. read it on the videos and not botch things up so bad. Well, maybe just sit down, relax, smoke it, and just kind of, you know, try to pinpoint the mm -hmm. little bitty nuances and flavors in there. That's a pretty good idea. I have a cigar book for that, but I just I don't trust my palate enough yet to really grade cigars. Well, that would be the good thing about it. You can kind of write down what you think of it, and then when your palate gets a little better, if it does, I mean, I've been smoking a pipe for seven, eight years, and my palate hadn't gotten any better. No, but you also took out how to prop up the smoke, though, too. That's part. For a long time before you really did research, you didn't really know how to properly smoke. No, I always packed my pipes, too. Too tight, so it's constantly just uh -huh. lighting them. It's actually a nice, calm day. Like cigars, you used to think, oh, you just light it and you just puff. 
Nope, it's a lot more than that. Yeah, I see you sitting there, just yeah, charring it for like 30 seconds before you wipe the gotta, thing. Gotta roast it. Roast it. Roast it. So that it may burn evenly for you and not canoe or burn sideways. See, my problem with cigars, they'll always burn. Well, right now the wind's sideways. not helping with this burn evenly. So yeah. The cigar's trying its best. Yeah, that is the good thing about Toast pipes the cigar. The wind, my bad. Uh, it's called toasting. Better. Toasting your yes. cigar. You build up, you toast it, and then yeah, take it, and then yeah, do a few puffs. Hmm. Get it really going. So you basically want to toast it. Well, you'll it. have to teach me. You Maybe basically want to toast it until enjoy you enjoy cigars better if I can light the thing. You basically want to toast it where you, you know, it's all glowing, mm -hmm. and then you go and do a quick. So it's basically like an initial char light on a pipe. Pretty much doing the same yeah, thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Even though I hardly ever do actual. And the best thing lights. to do is, as long as you know you cut the cigar at the end properly, mm -hmm. don't put your mouth up to it yet. Toast it first. And then, when you do your first initial, you know, puff to get it going, mm -hmm. you really get a feeling of the tobacco first. Oh, okay. If you cut it right. Yeah. Because you do want to make sure you get a good draw out of it. You've been doing a lot more research on cigars than I had. I know nothing about them. Other than some I like, some I don't. Pretty much with cigars. Heck, I know these guys. Can Pipes are more enjoyable with their flavors, for the most part. I mean, I prefer cigars. I like the hardiness of them and the true taste of the tobacco. But I also like pipe tobacco every now and then. We either try some uh, pipe tobacco with a uh, cigar leaf in there, but if you like the cigar taste. Cigars still, you know, it takes it takes like it takes a bit to get them going properly. But no one here is difficult as freaking pipes. Pipes aren't that difficult once you learn. I've had a hard time with them. Because you pack them too tight. I know, I'm trying to figure out. You gotta try it again. Maybe I'll it. get you a comb or something you can smoke out of. I also just love the uh, intimidation factor of cigars. <laughs> That's big. They're intimidating. I like pipes because they're kind of warm and inviting. Pipes are intellectual, intellectual. cigars are intimidating. All right, Tony Soprano. Hey, the cigars are a lot more intimidating, AJ. You over there puffing on your little pipe over there. Now, if I ever, now if I ever have a daughter and she gets old enough and she brings boys over, then that's probably where I'll just be puffing on a cigar, sitting on the porch, no lights on. You just maybe one little light. Mm -hmm. All right, boy. So you taking my daughter out on a date? All right. Well, let me tell you something, boy. Whatever you do to her, I'm gonna do to you. So you best better keep yourself in check. You ever wanted to know what your insides look like on the outside? That's where you just got your shotgun and just I'll make you know. myself clear. You see that tractor over there? Well, dude, I'm terrified to see what. There's a reason why I got that bucket on there. So if you ever do have kids, I'm There's... terrified to know what that generation is gonna be like. Oh my God, I'm Gen Z's already generation. messed up enough. Like, yeah, it's sad. I'm like, scared. Everyone just gets so offended. Yeah. I, that's the thing I don't understand with the generation. It's like they want to be triggered. They want to be offended. I, just, I, don't know. Well, I wish people could have healthy debates. Mm -hmm. like, you can disagree I, and yeah. still be buddies, you know? Well, like, that's one thing I love about the YTPC. All of us, we have different political beliefs, different religious beliefs. You know, just different thought processes, but we can all I'm sit. Pause it. I know you keep telling me not to, but I don't want to take a chance. But we can all sit down, have a conversation, and, you know, people will talk about their different ideas, like, say, on guns or you know, politics or religion or whatever it may be. We can all sit down and have a civil conversation. We may agree. We may disagree. But at least we're all respectful to each other, and we go... Well, maybe I don't agree with that, but I agree with that. Why do you think it's embarrassing? And we just get along and Why do you think it's embarrassing to even watch politics, politics anymore? now? Because it's like all they do is argue and argue and argue, and they're never respectful towards each other. Oh, it's just embarrassing. Mm hmm. Go! 
cold on them. It's a little warmer there where old Tunnel Take is, even though Texas is usually a hell hole 80% out of the year. It's not too bad. It's not too bad, but I need a jacket on. I like a Chihuahua when it's cold. I shiver. Yeah, I'm totally having these. These are so good. Nice. Alright. That smells like one that I'd like to try. Yeah. If I get a box, I'll give you one. Okay. Well, you do owe me out of the uh, <laughs> yeah. amounts of tobacco yeah, I, I put to smoke. I do. <laughs> See, I, that's the other... Well, I guess I'll say that's the other nice thing about tobacco or pipe tobacco you just buy a tin and you can share mm -hmm. cigars you got to buy a whole box to share yeah. like you know and some cigars you're looking at five ten fifteen even twenty five dollars a stick well and this tin will last me a week and that'll last you two hours and they're the same price Almost. Uh, i mean not unless you're buying really cheap cigars but a good you know fifteen twenty dollar cigar yeah those are like your i'd say your high end before you get to like stupid money like yeah, twenty five is a lot of money for one for stick. A cigar that's ridiculous. I don't care how old that cigar is. I don't think it's going to taste that much better to be worth um, $1,500 or whatever they go for. Well, it could be a rare crop. Well, it's just the year. It's kind of, cigars are kind of like wine. Well, yeah. I don't, I don't know if I would, I don't know if the $1,500 price was because of the year or it maybe it was a rare crop. Uh, he's like, I, I could spend fifteen hundred dollars and just finally load up on my quote unquote cellar. I don't have a cellar or anything. My tobacco is just laying around everywhere in the shop in the house. You need to get a proper storage. I don't need to get a proper storage for my I tobacco can't get pipes. A, uh, heating, cooling humidor. That'd be nice. Yeah, that'd be nice. We'll have to mess with anything. Definitely want to protect your investment because these things are not cheap. No, they're not. And they're one of those things, you know, they're best after you give them a little bit of time to set and age and mellow out. Get some of that um, ammonia gas out of them. Well, for the most part, usually the manufacturers get all that out. Or at least a big majority of it. They let them sit. Well, I always wondered that because cigars, like when I smell them, they always had that ammonia smell. I didn't know that the leaf actually produces ammonia. Yeah, I didn't either. But I think they let them sit for like five or six months after rolling mm -hmm. to get most of the ammonia out. Uh, but the one humidor I'm looking at it has an, uh, an uh, ammonia remover. Oh, it's really nice. nice. It's also just Which beautiful. one is that? Uh, it's the Ratching, R-A-C-H-I-N-G. It's a Chinese company, but it's a solid cedar cooling heating humidor. Hmm. But it's made by a Chinese company. Well, what um, but everything. China. But it's made by a Chinese company. So usually when it's like a Chinese Chinese company, it's usually good quality. It's weird. I've heard the Chinese are actually starting to grow their own tobacco since well, you know, apparently China. everyone in China smokes cigarettes, so they're trying to grow their own yeah, tobacco. Yeah, probably because, you know, China sucks to live in. <laughs> I remember watching a documentary. You think it's bad here in the U.S., but China? Ooh, ooh. There's more uh, smokers in China than the population of America. Well, China also has three. Like, what do they have? Like uh, two like, billion? No, uh, like one, one to one point five billion in the okay, U.S. Yeah. is like three hundred thousand million, sixty million, something like that. Yeah. So four times, five times the population size makes perfect sense why they have some more cigarettes yeah, about smokers. It's, it's near four times five, something like that. I don't like that. Four five. Four five. Four five times. Four five times. <laughs> but um, yeah, they're. If anyone is a cigar smoker, uh, ratching humidors, they have a one that's. It's like this beautiful yellow. Like the whole cabinet is solid cedar, which I like. And then the exterior is veneered with this beautiful yellow wood. I can't remember kind of what it is, but it's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then the door is like um, stainless steel, but it's painted gold. And it just looks absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful humidor. They're expensive, though. Very expensive. 
more than what I'd want to pay for. Some but more. I just I don't like. I just don't like the cheaper ones with the plastic interior. I don't either. I, I, if I want a humidor, some I want it to be wood. I mean, I'm one of those. I want everything made out of wood. Yeah. I don't like plastic. Uh, steel, I'm okay with, but I'd rather have the full wood cabinet to where it's really nice looking. That's just me. Well, I just like the wood because it looks prettier. You know, yeah. it's not going to be. It looks toxic. more luxurious, and yeah, it's. Not and it just adds a little extra flavor to the scarves, mm -hmm. which I like. You know, the plastic, you don't get that. Yeah. So it's worth the investment. So, and it can heat, cool, so basically just set it and you're done. Other than you, you don't replace the water. Too much. Nope. Other than you replace the water like every six months or so, maybe or well, six I'd, months. I'd be replacing my water a lot more than just that. Wouldn't it, you know, go bad? Or is it like in some kind of, is it in a container or something? Yeah, or? it's in a container in the bottom. No. Oh. It's like a fill tank. You fill it up okay. and then you just let it sit. And do so its thing. Humidify. Yeah, it does all the humidity. And, yeah. Um, supposedly, their systems aren't like other humidors, where you know the refrigerator type of humidors, where refrigerator compressors constantly coming on, off, on, mm -hmm. off. These are a lot more stable, mm -hmm. so you don't have massive dips like other humidors. So that's cool. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's not a ton of reviews on them on the internet though, or on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's some Amazon reviews that are very positive. Well, you got to watch out for reviews, though. Cause, oh, I know. Oh, I know. Trust I mean, especially I found out Amazon will basically pay you off to give the item a good review. Like, well, they'll be like, oh, we'll send I don't you. think that's Amazon, but sellers. Whoever, but they'll be like, we'll give you $20 for Amazon if you give us a good review. Well, remember those shitty-ass uh, oil spray bottles I bought? Yeah, they all had good reviews, and they broke the Yeah, it, well, I out. got with it a card that said, hey, Get fifty dollars if you review this. I'm like, no. <laughs> well, if you give it. it a good review. Yeah, it's like if you give, it it give us a five star review, either it's like twenty five or fifty bucks. Uh, and I was like, I ain't doing that. If it's shit, it's shit. I ain't gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna lie to people. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to I'm people. I'm getting tired. No thing I hate. Quality. Now, if it's keeps good, going down each year, mm -hmm. but the prices keep skyrocketing up. What's with that? Well, um, uh, <clears throat> there's a there's a big reason for that one. <laughs> this starts with a B. He who should not be named. That's a cuss word in this house. <laughs> he who should not be named. Also, just global tensions don't help either. Mm -hmm. But. He's a big contributor. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm loving this day. It's nice. Not too cold, cloudy. I love cloudy days. Mm hmm. It's quiet, other than hearing the construction going on over there. Uh huh. That sounds like it's coming from. Yeah, this sounds like it's coming not from, from the back. Way. Uh, so are they developing another up everywhere. They developing another subdivision, or is someone just building hopefully just a single house? Because I don't think there are any subdivisions being built down there. Mm -hmm. They keep popping out of the woodworks like yeah. never. But anyway, guys, before this video runs on too long, I'm gonna enjoy my pipe, and Taz is gonna enjoy his cigar. Great seeing all you guys again. This has been Hunter the Country Gentleman. God bless and take care. Enjoy your pipes and blends, my friends, as I surely will. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. Uh, and this has also been Tyler oh, the Country also, Gentleman. Oh, and also this has been Tyler the Clown. No, the Country Gentleman. I thought you were doing Modern Gentleman or something. I said Country Gentleman, but not. I meant to say Modern Gentleman. This is Tyler the Clown slash Modern Gentleman. Whatever he wants to call himself. Whatever so he original. identifies I just, as. I just take your name. It's so original. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Now, if you want to go to the shop, you can watch it.